What's up guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to cover a video on shares and this is really commonly kind of misunderstood but hopefully I can break it down to you in a way that makes it very straightforward. Okay, so here's the first question. It says, Manu owns 3,000 shares in a software company. His shares have a market value of $2.50 per share and Manu calculated his dividend yield to be 12.5%. What was the total dividend Manu received at the end of the financial year? So you can kind of think of dividend yield as just a kind of commission on what he owns or in other words, if it's even simpler, just a percentage of the total amount of shares. Okay, so of what it's worth. So he's got 3,000 shares and they're worth $2.50 each. So let's say the total value of shares is going to be 3,000 times $2.50. So let me just work that out. Three thousand times two fifty, so in total it's worth seven thousand five hundred dollars. Now he gets twelve point five percent of that as a dividend. So his dividend. Let me rewrite that properly. So his dividend is just going to be twelve point five percent of seven thousand five hundred. Easy. So times 0 0.125 so his total dividend will be $937.50 cool okay this one says Robert decides to purchase 750 shares in Macquarie Bank at a price of $38.86 per share there is brokerage of 1% on the value of any purchase or sale of the shares a find the total cost of purchasing the, purchasing the shares so the new thing here is the introducing this idea of brokerage now all of all that is is basically the cost the additional cost for buying or selling so it's just one percent of the value of the shares so first of all let's just start with what's all the shares worth well it's gonna be 750 because you got 750 of them times 38 dollars 86 that's the total value of the shares so that he's buying So that's going to be $29,145. Now there's also a brokerage of 1%. So I need to add on the brokerage, which will be 1% of the above. So 0 0.01 times 29145. So that's $291.45. All I need to do is add that and that. And that will be my answer for the total cost. So plus 29145. So the total cost, let me just make this a bit smaller. Will be $29,436.45. Okay. Question B, the company releases its dividends for $1.20 per share. How much will this investor receive in dividends? Okay, so the company releases its dividend at $1.20 per share. How much will this investor receive? So he's basically getting $1.20 for every share he owns. So it's pretty straightforward. So his dividend will be $1.20 times the number of shares he has, which is $7.50. So his dividend will be $900. Okay, cool. Last question here. So calculate the dividend yield. Now this question always confuses kids. All it is is dividend yield is one dividend divided by one share price or one share or the price of one share times 100 to get a percentage. So let's work this out. Dividend yield equals this. Well, what's the value of one dividend? Well, it says $1.20 from the previous question here. What's the value of one share worth? Well, if I go back up here, it's $38.86 times 100 to get a percentage, and that is it. So 1.2 over 38.86 times 100. So that's 3.09%. That is the dividend yield. So if you just remember, it's one dividend divided by one share times 100. It's straightforward. Okay, next question. Mariana purchases 550 shares at a market price of $4 per share. The market price is now 
$4.60 per share. Mariana receives a dividend of 40 cents per share. What is the dividend yield? Okay, so there's quite a lot going on, a lot of numbers flying around. But remember, dividend yield is one dividend divided by one share times 100. So what do we have? We have one dividend, which is 40 cents, but you have a problem, you got two share prices. So for the sake of this course and for the sake of doing these questions, you're gonna wanna use the current share price for the dividend, So, or the market price. So this one here. So you can ignore the price that she purchased it for. And in fact, you don't even need this 550 to work out the dividend yield. So. $4.60, or oh sorry, the dividend is 40 cents, 0 0.40 over $4.60 times 100. And that'll be your answer. So 0 0.4 over 4, 4.60 times 100. So 8.695%. And choose to round that up if you want. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, cool. All right, last one here. Sarah purchased shares in Quick Cash Limited at a price of $3.20 per share. The dividend, well, the 4% dividend yield amounted to a profit of $192. How many shares did Sarah buy? Okay, so a kind of bit of a problem solving question. Let me just start with the formula. So it's one, so dividend yield is one share, or one dividend, sorry, divided by one share times 100. And I'm just gonna work out what I've got. So I've got the dividend yield, which is 4% here. I've got the value of one share. So that should let me find what the value of one dividend is. Okay, so the dividend yield is 0 0.04 as a decimal. Let's just call the dividend D over one share, which is $3.20. Okay. I can leave out the times 100 here because I've already converted 4% into a decimal. So to find D, I need to multiply 320 by 0 0.04. So that gives me 0 0.128. So in other words, this is what one dividend is, okay? One dividend is $0.128. So if the dividend amounted to $192, all I need to do is go 192 divided by what one dividend is. Okay, so how many shares? The shares she owns will be 192 divided by 0 0.128. So she has 1,500 shares. Okay, so just think through that properly. The dividend she's getting is $192. Now she gets $0.128 for every share she owns. So therefore the number of shares she owns has to be 192 divided by 0.128. So that's gonna be 1500 shares. All right, that's it for today. I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see any other type of videos, but otherwise I'll see you in the next one.